Hey, how's it going? Um, I want to do a quick video on torque wrenches. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. So anyhow, uh, want to do a tor torque wrench video here. Um, I bought these two. Uh, I used my own money, and uh, I'm not going to post like an affiliate link or something uh, because it seems kind of shady when someone tells you something's great and then they show you like where to buy it. Um, this is just a public service. Here's what I bought. And mostly I'm posting a video because I'm super happy with these two. Uh, and I figure I should share, share the happiness. So, um, so yeah, so these are the two torque wrenches I bought. These are for a bicycle. Um, I bought a carbon fiber bicycle. It is super, um, super necessary that you torque it to the right amounts when you're torquing down a bolt on a carbon fiber bike because the carbon fiber kind of works, 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 and then it cracks, right? So you have to be pretty accurate with how tight you're, you're doing things on a bike. And what's happening with bikes is uh, more and more things are getting lighter, thinner, more delicate, and the tolerances are a little tighter in these bicycles. So you really need to have these kind of tools to be able to accurately uh, know how tight you're making something. So the two that I bought, um, and I bought two, and I'll tell you why here. I bought a one to 20 Newton meter smaller wrench, and then a four to 80 Newton meter larger wrench. If all you were doing is attaching little things to the bike, like aftermarket stuff, this is probably all you need in that range. But I actually want to work on some of the larger parts like hubs. So you're going to need uh, the more um, higher torque wrench. Don't think that you can buy this and start like cranking down like two Newton meters, three Newton meters. It doesn't even start to read, I think, until four. And it's definitely not accurate at the very low end of the scale. It really only starts to be accurate when you get into the main bandwidth of the torque. So you can't really buy this and think that you're going to be able to like get four Newton meters accurately out of it. You really need this tool for the really low numbers, this tool for the really big numbers. It's that old right tool for the job, right? So I uh, got both of these. I actually got that one a little bit on sale. Bought this one on the big Amazon. Um, both of them were less than the, the retail price. Um, just shop around a little bit. But interestingly enough, I kind of want to show you why you need two if you want to get that full range. So this is the 2 to 20, which is this little guy. This is the certificate, uh, Certification of Calibration Report, which is, means it's a fancy wrench and they actually bothered to test it. Um, or at least they pretended to test it. So you can see here, if you look at the range on the counterclockwise, it's pretty inaccurate. It's like 4% off down at one Newton meter. So as you get to the very edge of the scale on this thing, it's less accurate. Um, so you kind of got to watch that. Looking at this guy, uh, kind of the same thing happens. Down at four Newton meters, it's only uh, two, 2.4% off. When you get up to the high numbers, like 48 or 80 Newton meters, um, there's zero error. So, um, and they even have this little asterisk that just says, look, uh, the, at these torque settings, we don't guarantee that it's gonna be accurate. Now it happened to be accurate here, but it's definitely something you gotta, gotta watch here. So um, unboxing them here. So this is technically the Topeak D Torque Wrench, uh, one to 20. And that's this guy, and this is the uh, D Torque wrench, uh, four, uh, four to eighty. Comes with twenty-two functions. That one comes with eleven. So if you buy by functions, I'd buy the bigger one then. <laughs> so anyhow, I'll show you what they look like here. So this is the little guy, and I warn you, I already lost a piece. Um, but I love this thing. It's kind of got this little like carbon fiber. It's not actually carbon fiber, but it just has like a nice looking weave. Um, same thing with this. Kind of has a nice looking weave. These are about a year old. Um, you know, really, really nice looking. You can see it comes with the half inch and then eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 millimeter sockets. That'll take care of everything you do. Adapter to go to half inch sockets. This is a 3 8 socket normally. Half inch drive adapter to go to quarter inch for these little guys. And then it comes with uh, uh, pH2, which is the standard Phillips, T25, T30, 40, and then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 millimeters. So this guy works pretty well. 
Um, it is actually a 3 8 inch drive on the other side here. You flip it on, you tell it uh, up and down what you want to set the newtons to. Um, you can switch it from newton meters to inch pounds to feet pounds, but in the bike world, you're pretty much always going to be dealing with, uh, and actually kilogram centimeters. I don't even know what that does. It's almost always newton meters. So nice, nicely made, you know, well-made piece. These are made in Taiwan. Um, not not Germany. They kind of look like they're made in Germany on the on one of the websites, but these are actually made in Taiwan uh, Very well made this guy same concept on this um, Comes with a little extension bar for this guy Had a ph2 which I promptly lost a t25 six millimeter five millimeter four millimeter three millimeter two and a half and two and believe it or not occasionally you do need these little guys and then you've got your little wrench now this drives on the standard uh, quarter inch bit drive. So as opposed to this that's up here on this uh, 3 8 inch drive. So different way to drive it. One thing I really love is when you're torquing things down on this, as you torque, this little guy moves on the end. So you can put your finger there and kind of influence how it's torquing if you don't have a very, if something's like slipping as you do it. I really, really like that. That's, that's a really good way to do that. So uh, very happy with that. Same concept on this. Flip the little guy on. Tells you your newton meters. That it takes you through newton meters. I think that says inch pounds, feet pounds, and kilogram centimeters. But I'm just going to leave it newton meters. You're going to set that up or down. So you can set that to wherever you want it to go off. And this might be hard to see on the camera. I'm going to set this to 10 and it's adjustable by, uh, so you could actually have it at 9.99 .9 newton meters. So that's pretty accurate. And what I'm gonna do, just for the heck of it, is we're gonna put this into, let's see if this fits. Nope, gotta go a little bit smaller. I think six will work. So I'm actually gonna hook both of these together. And the way this works on these, is when you get on this one you need to push the button to get it to lock when you get to the amount of torque that you want it beeps at you so you don't even need to see the actual uh, amount you're at so I, I've set this one to 10 I've set this one very important that's on is also gonna be set a second here to 10 then I'm gonna pull these against each other you have to hold in the correct position and we'll listen for the beep so here we go. All right. So that actually got to 9.58 and that went off at 10. Try it one more time here. So that time we were a little bit more. 9.76 went off at 10. I really like that because when you're, when you're torquing, you can hear the beep. It tells you to stop and it's a good sign you just need a quiet this one i particularly love because as you're torquing something so i'll just give it a little torque here Let's see if i can even do it so i'll give it a little torque on this as you're torquing something it will give you the readout of how much you got to so if you're sneaking up on something and you're trying to get to like five and you're not quite sure it, it, and you take the tool off of where you were working and you bring it around, you can see where you what you reached. That is ridiculously helpful. So all in all, these are really good tools. You kind of need both if you're going to be able to do everything on a bike. Um, I highly recommend this these two sets. Go out, look around, find a good price for yourself. Um, but between this and the old school click, uh, I think this is just completely a different level. So uh, highly recommend it for people working on their bikes and uh, hope this helps someone make that decision. All right, good luck and don't break the screws. <laughs>